Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to uh, another shit easy motorcycle camp cooking video. So what we're doing in this video is nachos. Aussie nachos, well I call them Aussie nachos. They're not your Mexican nachos, but it's something that you can take on any bloody motorcycle for as long as you want. So there's no refrigeration, just chuck them in your bag and they can be there for a whole week. Get it all out, cook it up, no, basically no bugger all dishes at the end of it. And I tell you what, they're bloody yummy. All right, so where we are, we're not too far from home here in uh, Bendigo. We're on a, what do you call it? A maintenance track for these big bloody power lines. So what we've got to do is, I'll turn you around. Got to keep heading up this way, up and over a lot of these bloody Duvalakis until we get to a single track. Then we follow the single track and then we'll find what we call a, a water race. And that's where we'll pull up and I'll show you these bloody nachos. Cool, let's get going. Okay guys, so we've uh, selected ourselves a bit of a spot, just got to get all this stuff out. Rightio guys, she's a bloody hell, warmed up and just got <laughs> heading through all that crazy craziness. So, we have Doritos. Cheddar cheese that you get from the um, supermarket sits on the shelf, not in the refrigeration area. Anybody old will know what this stuff is. And of course, whoop, geez, nearly broke it. Um, Doritos salsa sauce. Cool, so what we're gonna do is, I'll get myself all set up and uh, we'll start bloody cooking it. Rightio, so we need a pot with a trivet. So we've got a pot and a trivet. Trivet goes down in there. Got our lid. We need a bit of foil, so a square bit of foil. And what we're gonna do with that is basically make a pot in there. As simple as that. Now I carry a um, little chopping board, makes grating up the cheese real easy. Now you don't have to have, you know, the, this, you can grate it just out of your hand, you know what I'm talking about. One steak knife or whatever knife you've uh, whatever you want 
teaspoon. So what I'm now gonna do is I'm gonna lay all this ready to start cooking, then I'll set up my stove. Cool. So the first thing we've gotta do, get our Doritos. Grab some chips, throw her in. Just basically putting a layer on the bottom. Open up the Doritos. Oh, geez, I tell you what, sometimes these things can be bloody hard to get open. Oh, yeah. So now we just got to dump some of that in there. As much or as little as you like. So that's what we got there. Now for the cheese. I think you guys would know this stuff. Now this isn't the best. If you have your regular cheese to make the nachos, which is how I do it at home, it's really, really good. We just whack it in the microwave and hey presto, bloody couple of minutes and we're, we're eating nachos. Um, this doesn't melt as good, but it does melt. It does a job, you'll see it. Let's, let's just shave this up. So the object here is to try and shave. It's not the best cheese to try and shave, but you can do it. Jeez, can you see all those little ants bloody running around? I hope they don't get onto me, onto me food. And then as you just shave it, lay it in there. I always put a little bit more than what I think. Well, that's a, that's a little bit thick, but that'll be all right. Because um, once the cheese melts, it really goes to nothing. Rightio. So there's our cheese in there. So now what we're going to do is just play, we'll do that all again. We just lay, put another layer in there. Chuck some more of that in there. If it's looking a bit full, just crunch it down. Whack some more of the uh, salsa in. Tell you what guys, it's smelling good. So far, there we go. Do some more cheese. Rightio guys, so I reckon that should be plenty, but just a bloke like me. Whack our cheese away. So that will be fine. Put it in a zip, I always put in, I always try and put everything in a bloody Ziploc bag. Protects it from bugs, protects it from water. Uh, Protects it from the air. Doritos packet. Fold that up so you could do same with this. Oh yeah. Now obviously this once it's open you're supposed to refrigerate it, but I don't know how long it'd last, you know. Might have it for lunch and then have it for a uh, snack after tea tonight. Righto, scrape some of these uh, cheese bits in there. Don't forget a little bit for the ants. So now that goes on top of there. So now that is ready to start cooking. So let's get the stove set up.
Oh, guys, and I will use my um, that uh, little bloody what do you call it, the gauze mat thing. It just helps to um, move that uh, flame around. That, that is it, guys. We just let that uh, heat up. I can start packing up some bits and pieces. Oh, <laughs> looking good. Righty, guys, I reckon, I don't know, it's been about five minutes or so. And hello, have a look at that. Check that out. That is cool as. So now all we've got to do, <laughs> make it easier, and you know, I'm always burning myself. I'm learning. Put me gloves on. So now what you got to do? Pull this out of here. And hey presto, there is your nachos. Look at that. And best of all, there's no bloody dishes. That just goes back in there. Beautiful. Rightio, there we have it. Oh, it's a little bit bloody warm on the bottom, but I'll get me a little fry pan, whack it in there like that. Oh, you guys can't really bloody see that, can you? Right, I think that's better. I'm gonna grab some of our stuff. Now, some of the chips do, when you get down to the bottom, they burn, the Doritos chips, but it doesn't taste bad. That's Aussie nachos if I've ever bloody tasted it. The cheese doesn't melt like the, the normal cheese where it goes more clear. This stuff stays more um, creamy. But, tastes good, tastes like cheese. Cheese, salsa and uh, corn chips. I mean, what else can you bloody ask for? That is so simple. Cheap as chips. I'm out in the bush, got myself a little bloody, uh, it's not a river, a little water race. Eating me nachos, stranded in bush, Charlie's sitting over there. So there you go guys, that's um, Aussie nachos, in the bush on your bike. As you saw, bugger all dishes, it was a teaspoon and a knife. Once you finish this, just curl all this up, chuck it in your bag, next time you go past the bin, chuck it in the bin. Oh yeah. That is so good guys. Just look at that stuff. Yummy! Mm. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed that. Um, remember, keep on riding, and if you ain't riding, keep on keeping on.